here's the thing. ABC News was told by the sheriff that there were only, like, fewer than 10 people working at that jail when that escape happened. Uh, there are 800 inmates. So fewer than 10 people were guarding 800 inmates. And normal is about 30 people. About 30 people were supposed to be guarding 800 inmates. ABC News has learned only 10 were doing the job that night. Clearly, not enough, right? Because four of them got out. One of them's an accused murderer. FBI, U.S. Marshals, Fugitive Task Force, everybody is looking for these four. The Bibb County schools were placed on lockdown. Of course, they're kids, and those guys are out there. Communities on edge. Cynthia Berry, the murder victim who died with the shoelace, her daughter says she's having to relive horrible memories. Her name is Brianna Berry, and she's kind enough to join me live right now. Brianna, I am so sorry that we are meeting under these circumstances. Um, it, it's hard to believe what you've been through already, having to face the upcoming trial of the man who's accused of murdering your mother. But now to know that he is out. How are you processing this news, and how did you find out, Brianna? Um, I'm still having a hard time processing all of it. It's a lot. Um, I found out from my sister um, in the morning whenever it happened. Are you concerned at all, Brianna, that he may come for you or your siblings? Um, not at all. I think he's really just worried about escaping and being free. What should we know about him? You lived with him um, and your mom for two years. There might be no one better to ask what this man, Joey Fournier, is like. Um, what can you tell us about him? Um, he's definitely not a pleasant person to be around. Um, he's very, very manipulative. Um, he will pull the strings in, on people in different situations just so he can get his way. Um, he can't be trusted. I do feel like he will hurt somebody just to make sure that he doesn't get caught again. He's traveling, theoretically, with three other inmates because they all broke out together. No one knows if they split up, Brianna, or if they're still together. But if they are still together, what are your thoughts about him and his relationship to these three others? Um, I have no idea how... The, I, I'm assuming they've they met each other in jail, obviously. I've never seen them before. Um, but I wouldn't put it past him to come up with this plan and working with other people and maybe from the outside to get out. Do you think those, uh, do you think there's any like honor among thieves as the old expression goes? Should, should they trust uh, Joey Fournier? And I mean, you can't tell me vice versa. You don't know the other three, but what should they know about him? Oh, absolutely not. Um, he would definitely backstab them in a heartbeat if it meant it, it would benefit him if he's able to not get caught. Do you think he's capable of, of killing them if it means he can get free? Possibly. I mean, he's done it before. I don't see why he wouldn't do it again. What do you want the public to know um, about Joey, the, the person you saw, the tendencies that you saw, the behavior that you saw? You know, he's out there and he needs, um, he needs things to stay out there, to stay on the lam. He needs food, he needs water, he needs money, he needs uh, transportation. What do you think he's capable of in terms of making sure he stays free? Um, I, like I was saying, I definitely feel like he's capable of manipulating people maybe getting people to trust him, to help him hide or whatever. Um, he's just really good about doing that and fooling people. And so. what do you think about his brother? The brother was there uh, in the first instance after he had allegedly murdered your mom. The brother hid him. The brother was charged. They dropped those charges. And so he's out there. Uh, do you think that it was the brother that went to the jail that night and was there uh, to to pick up Joey and the other three? Um, it's definitely a possibility, um, but it's really hard to say. What do you know about that brother, Jeffrey? Do you, did you meet him? Did you know what he was like? No, I've never met him. Um, I didn't know him personally, but from hearing things through my mother at the time, he's not a very good person himself and has had a history of violence. 
Did your mom ever talk about him in depth? Um, a little bit. There was a, um, he was really, from what I remember, violent. Um, there was a time where he left a voicemail on my mother's phone threatening uh, Joey, and I don't even know what it was about. But... Brianna, do you think that Joey Fournier, the man who's accused um, and was about to stand trial, I think starting November 1st, they were due back in court, do you think that Joey Fournier orchestrated this prison breakout? Do you think he was the leader of these four? There's a very good possibility. Um, I definitely feel like he had a lot to play into it, though. Well, Brianna, for the sake of you and your sisters, I first, I am so sorry for the loss of your mother. I am so sorry that you didn't get this day in court coming up. And I hope and pray that you are going to get your day in court and then some and soon. And I really do hope for the best for your family, Brianna. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.